Principal Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday. I'm getting over that hump. June 14th, 2023. Number one, the political arm of an organization funded by conservative billionaire Charles Koch has produced a series of political ads directed at Donald Trump. The 15 second digital ads from the Americans for Prosperity Action Super Political Action Committee state that if Donald Trump is the 2024 Republican presidential nominee, then ultimately, Joe Biden will be reelected. One of the ads titled Only Way states, the only way Biden wins is if we nominate Trump again. Number two, New York City's police commissioner, Keyshawn Sewell, the first woman to hold the position is stepping down after 18 months. Mayor Adams, a former police captain, is infamous for micromanaging NYPD since taking office, and sources close to the NYPD say that Sewell's hands were tied on what she could and could not do and had to run all rank promotions past City Hall. Sewell's made a bold statement by disciplining Chief of Department Jeffrey Madry, basically stating she wants to run a clean NYPD, only to have Mayor Adams seemingly undermine that decision by publicly defending Madry. Number three, bowel cancer starts in the rectum or colon. It often begins as polyps that, when caught early, can be removed before advancing to more serious forms of the disease that can be life-threatening. According to the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, over 150,000 Americans are diagnosed with colon or rectal cancer each year, and over 50,000 will die from it. The What You Need to Know newsletter breaks down the symptoms and risk factors of bowel cancer. Number four, Sunday night's 2023 Tony Award ceremony awarded two non-binary folks Tony Awards, and both actors use the they, them pronouns. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Alex Newell became the first openly non-binary performer to win a Tony Award for an actor in a featured role in a musical. Both actors chose to be nominated within the Best Actor pools as the Tony still use gendered performance categories. However, there are other openly non-binary actors who withdrew from nomination contention for the 2023 awards due to the gendered categories. Number five, Naomi Che Melton has been missing from Baltimore, Maryland since June 12th of this year. The 15-year-old was last seen leaving her residence located on the 2900 block of Glenmore Avenue. Naomi has dark blemishes on her face and right arm as she is a cutter. Anyone with information on Naomi's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Loss is change and change is inevitable. Give yourself the gift of acceptance and don't forget to breathe. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with our contributors Stephen Hill, Myra J., and activist Quinn Townsend Riley, along with special guest, plastic and reconstructive surgeon Dr. Nicholas Jones, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association, and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.